Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Rajay back again. Take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by. Check out another video. Gonna take a look at one today from out of Dayton, Ohio. This is gonna come from Warp Wing Brewing, and this is Ermel's. This is actually their Belgian Cream Ale. So this one comes in with an ABV of 5.4%, 20 IBU. As you can see, a pretty unique kind of colorful can. This is kind of what caught my eye on it. Figured why not give it a shot and check it out. Big fan of a lot of the Belgian ales. This one is a Belgian style cream ale brewed with spices as noted on the can. So kind of interesting to see how this one actually compares out. Go ahead and get it open and get it into a glass and take a look. So as you can see, I went ahead and got it into the glass. Came out with a rather large head, three finger head there. Got some pretty good decent bubble action, which actually sits to be pretty much a right on white type head. Nice little foaminess to it. Get a little bit of light behind it and it still has a ton of haze. You're not seeing anything through it. Cannot make out any of the carbonation taking place. But it has that golden yellow look you often expect with a lot of the Belgian type ales. Go ahead and check the aroma. Well, the aroma is pretty much spot on to what to kind of expect in some of the coriander type notes. Getting a nice spice out of there. Comes out of the glass rather easily. Definitely very reminiscent of a Belgian ale. Um, the head itself is already starting to break down a little bit more now. So now we're down to about a two finger left on the head. Everything else really with the uh, uh, aroma is pretty nice. I'm starting to pick up a little bit of carbonation as the haze is lightening up a little bit, but still not seeing a lot of the deep action. As far as any of the flavor, pretty good bitterness to the front, to the tip of the tongue. Kind of dies down a little bit, kind of going into that Setzer uh, water type feel. You really feel that carbonation starting to hit the palate. There's not a whole bunch of other flavor really taking place um, as you go to swallow it, the duration of the uh, the finish is not anything much more than average. It does open up where I do get it up into kind of the cheek area, but it's not really holding a flavor as well. I really don't like how the carbonation sits on the tongue. It's very lively, very active. It almost makes it feel like a soda in that regard. Not really tasting any of the alcohol on the back end, any type of astringency on the finish. I do pick up some of the flavor that you're supposed to get, I think, from was from a Nissan of a Bells, and I kind of get a little bit of that orange peel, that coriander in the taste. It gets so overpowered by the carbonation, it kind of covers it all up. I can kind of, I can get it down. It is definitely drinkable. It's not knocking me back, but I think that that carbonation is so overpowering. So for me on the rating, I'm going to give this one a 2.25, which is a C minus. I think it is drinkable, but it's not really knocking me back, and I think that carbonation is just a little too much you know it starts out with a nice flair for being like a belgian type ale you get the aroma you get some of that flavor but then it really dies out in that back end and then once you swallow with that carbonation it just overpowers it so there you have it for me again this is the ermels from warp wing it's really a uh, a brewery I do like so I'm really surprised on this one I've liked all their beers thus far but this is one I just you know I can't give a full recommendation to but if you've had it before let me know put some comments in the comment section let me know what you think about it well with that I'm gonna go ahead and finish wrapping this one up appreciate you swinging by to check out another video as always if you like what you saw please remember to like and if you haven't subscribed yet you want to stay up to speed please remember to subscribe as well with that I'm gonna say cheers and I look forward to seeing you on the next video keep drinking good craft beer cheers